Okay, welcome everybody to another video tutorial. In this this occasion, we're gonna be using again the DRA80 to bring back the data from your computer into the machine. In case that something happened to your machine, it's not working properly, whatever, we're gonna do a factory reset, right? And then we're gonna bring back our data that we have saved our patterns okay so remember this is only to show to demonstrate how to bring your data from your computer into the machine don't do the factory reset unless it's necessary and before you do a factory reset you need to save your data first into your computer I already did a video on how to save your data. Okay, this is very important. Okay, don't do this unless you're sure what you're doing. I just want to show you how to bring back the data that you already saved. Okay, so here we go. We're going to first reset the machine to zero as factory. Okay, we're going to go into edit. And right here we have it. Normally it will be here. So we're going to click the right cursor, the right button of the cursor right here, all the way back to reset. Do not do this. Okay, I'm just doing it in order to bring back the data. Okay, like if something happened that you need to reset it. Then go ahead, but if you need to do this, remember to save your data first. I already did a video on that. Okay, how to back up your data. Okay, DRA80 is the name of the video. DRA80, how to back up your data. But do not do this, okay? Don't lose your information, your patterns that you have created. Don't do that. I'm just doing it for demo purposes, okay? I can't stress that enough because this is very important. Do not do this. I'm just doing it to show you. Okay. So here we go. Factory reset. I'm just going to press enter. Okay. Factory reset. I'm going to go here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Here we go. And now wait for it. It'll take a while. Okay. Maybe like 30 seconds to a minute, something like that. I want to show this cable. Do not buy this cable. Again, I'm showing it. With a ferrite, it's not going to work with this machine, this type of cable. Well, at least it didn't work for me. If it works for you, good. But I don't recommend it. This is good. The application for this is this ferrite. It will block any noises coming from, from the source in this case the machine into the computer but this didn't work for me this cable didn't work to do this so i had to use a regular usb cable just in case if you want to buy something like this for your machine it might not work so just to let you know okay so you won't spend your money okay so we're doing a factory reset we're just waiting it's already done. Okay. I'm going to show you. I don't have anything right now. I'm going to go exit. Uh, it's like if you bought it, it's from zero, from scratch. This is if you bought it like the first day, this is how, it's, how it is. Okay. Okay. So it's good. It's working. I'm going to show you that I don't have any, any patterns. I'm going to go shift. You're going to press song, factory user, oh, sorry, pattern, user patterns is zero. I don't have anything here. It's blank. Okay. I, I have just erased everything. Okay. Remember, do not do this factory reset unless it's very necessary. But before you do the, the factory reset, you need to back up your data first. Very important because then you're going to lose your information, your data, your patterns, and your songs. Okay, so don't do the factory reset. 
Now, this is what the intention of the video. I'm going to bring back my factory presets into the machine. Okay? So I have them saved. I got to get them first. I got them right here. And I have them saved from a folder that I named Roland. I named inside the folder named Roland. I got another one named DR880. I got another one named Backup. Boss DR880 Backup. I got another one named BM Backup. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. And these are the files I'm going to bring into the machine. Okay. Now. This is what we do to get connected. Remember, you need to connect your USB to the machine and into the computer. Now, if you just did that, this is what I recommend. Turn off your machine, turn it off, and turn it back on again. Okay? Okay, because if you don't do that, it won't recognize the machine. The computer will not recognize the machine. So if you turn it on and then you connect the USB cable, you need to turn off the machine and turn it back on. Okay. Now, that's what we do. Edit. Press edit right here. Then we're going to go with the cursor. The right but another cursor all the way to USB. Okay. Enter. And oh, something very important that I forgot to mention on the other video. I, I believe I didn't mention it. You, the mode needs to be in storage. Okay. That's very, very important. Mode needs to be in storage. Or on storage. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, after you do this, if it's on MIDI, put it on storage. Okay. Exit. Now writing. It's all good. Okay. In case that you had it on MIDI, you got to put it in storage. Okay, now we're going to recover. We're here. Let me go back again to show you where we at. Okay, from from this part of the machine or anywhere, you gotta hit edit, and you gotta go all the way to USB. Okay, right here USB. Enter, and then here we're gonna move it. Recover. Okay, we're gonna move the cursor to recover. And then we're gonna hit enter. Hit enter. And wait for it. The window is going to pop up. Here it is. Okay. So we're going to transfer these files into the machine. We double click this folder. Okay. With the left button of the mouse, double click. This is empty. Okay. This is good. So we're going to take these files and you're going to drag them in here, or you could just copy and paste. So we could copy and paste just to show you, you could have drag it or copy and paste. Okay. And there you go. Okay. It's already waiting on standby for the machine. Okay. They're good. Now we go here, exit. Okay. After you copy and paste or you drag the files into the boss. DR880 folder. Okay, it's right here, the folder. You want to exit. I'm sorry, right here, exit. Disconnect, okay. Yes, enter. Enter. And wait for it. It's going to take like 20, 30 seconds, depending on how big is your data. That's how long it's going to take. Okay. Remember, it was empty. I didn't have anything. Now we're going to have our data back into the machine again.
wait for it. Okay, good. Now, get out of there, exit. Okay, this is working perfect, no problem. Now we're gonna go into our patterns, ship, song. And there you go, there they are. Perfect, very good. So that's what I have done. It's another one. That's another one. Another one, so good. We recovered our data from a backup we did first, right? We backup first. Every time you create a pattern, backup the machine the with the process. I did the video how to backup your data. Okay, DRA80 is the name of the video. DRA80, how to backup your data. Watch that video so you can save your data. Okay. Now, what I did was a reset, a factory reset. You don't need to do that. I only did it to erase everything to go, you know, like zero mode from zero. And I took the data back inside. Okay. So if you have any questions, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Share the video. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I see you. Take care. God bless. Thank you for watching.